y'all, today we're opening up not a $10 Goodwill Blue Box. Y'all, did you get the email? Goodwill Blue Box is no longer doing our favorite $10 mystery boxes. They added $5 to every single mystery box. So instead of us getting an affordable $15 shipped mystery box that we can flip one line for profit, we gotta pay 20 now. Are you crying? I'm crying. I would ask how y'all feel about it. However, I think we know how the community feels about it. As you know, these Goodwill Blue Boxes sell out usually within 30 seconds. Well, this week, whenever the prices got raised, they were up for 10 minutes. I stopped checking after 10 minutes. I don't even know how long they were actually up for, but these Blue Boxes were available for 10 minutes. They're never available that long. So that tells me the Goodwill Blue Box community was not very happy with that price increase. However, you know your girl had to buy one. Now this one's different. I figured, you know what, since they already raised the price, instead of me getting the, what was $10, which is now $15, instead of getting the $15 box, let me get the mixed clothing box. It used to be $25, now it's $30 plus five bucks shipping. In total, this box cost me $35. We're gonna open it up. It's supposed to have 10 pieces of mixed clothing. Could be men's, could be women's, could be new at tags, could be crap that didn't sell at Goodwill. Let's go ahead, bust into it and see what I got. Before we get into the box though, you should know this video is a collab with one of my favorite YouTubers and resellers, Gorgeous. You guys know Jess, we've done so many collabs. She also purchased a blue box and we're gonna do a little comparison. I'm gonna leave her video linked down below. You guys watch my video, then go click the link and watch Jess's video. Let us know who got the better box. I think she got the, um, now her box is older. Her box was before the price change. So I think she's opening up the $10 box if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, you guys make sure to go watch her video. Tell her Alicia sent you. Oh my God. They made up for the price change. You guys know, that's like reseller gold right there. Here's our sad, sad, sad invoice. $29.99 plus five bucks shipping. I'm still crying, are you? All right, let me give y'all a sneak peek. I see an orange puffer coat. That's promising. That's my favorite color. Brandon also is joining us and he's behind the camera. Uh, I never film when Brandon's here, so he's gonna, you tell me if you think this was worth $35. You tell me if you think I can make some money with it. <clears throat> All right, first thing, it looks like it's a dress maybe. Okay, this is a Hurley. Looks like it's a Hurley dress. Like kind of like a mini dress, like a geometric mini dress. And it has like the halter tie, tie neck. It's okay. Um, honestly, I've never sold Hurley before. Um, so I have no idea what this would go for. Maybe I could get a 10 or 15. If you guys saw my video from yesterday, I'll link it above if you haven't seen it. I had a successful, my first ever successful buy sell trade store experience. I went to Style Encore and Play-Dohs. Maybe I'll bring that to Play-Dohs. Maybe that's something they'll accept. Okay, next piece, new at tags. Oh, this looks fancy. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Hold on. I saw this at first. I saw this. Melanage, no one paid close attention to my nails because I've been cleaning and those chemicals have just completely ruined my nails. DNF, I'm pretty sure, didn't you buy this at Marshall's? Denim and Flower, isn't that what this is? It says DNF Ricky Singh. Or maybe I'm thinking of something completely different. Anyway, retail on this was $44. This is a men's extra large. Okay, anyway, so y'all, all my men's stuff sells super well. So even if I can only get 10 bucks for that, I really think uh, think I can sell it. Oh, here's your favorite thing to get at the dang bag sale. Button down. Um, Old Navy. 
size large, built-in flex. This is new without tags. It still has the collar thing. I did just have a $3 clothing sale on YouTube, and I did sell some of my men's button-downs. Um, I think my next $3 clothing sale will probably be in January or February. This is something I will sell probably in that. I Because I don't think my Play-Dohs will take this. I think my Play-Dohs is really interested in, like, men's athletic wear. I think that's more of what they're looking for. Oh, this is nice. This is a new tag, Land's End. It's a puffer jacket. Embroidered with a J, huh? Yeah, if your name starts with a J, this one's for you. Um, it was $49.95. Let me see what the size is. Size extra small. It's a women's. Extra small. It's cute. Hey, I think maybe it'll still sell. I don't know. It's I, I don't know. We're going to try it out. That took up like almost all the box. The box looks empty now. This don't look like 10 items. I'm going to have to count them afterwards. Okay, another new at Tags item. Uh, this is Gap. Um, you guys let me know how you think this box, the mixed box, compares with the original $10 box that's now the $15 box. That's going to confuse everyone. This is just a yellow shirt. Did I tell you what size? Size medium. This is definitely oversized. But I think this is something maybe Play-Dohs or Style Encore will take. Here's something in a pretty pink color. Um, Susan Graver, size large. I think I've sold her stuff once before. This is super basic. This may be something that Stahl Encore takes, possibly. Just like a pink shell. Okay, we got some plaid in here. Up, oh, another button down. You're missing the button downs, Bran. Oh, this is new. Okay, this is, what is it, H&M. It was $14.99 and then marked down to four. Um, size extra small. Yeah, again, this is probably something that will go. It looks like it's like a plum or a maroon color. Anyway, that's something I'll put in that $3 clothing sale uh, for next year coming up. Uh, this is Monto. I think, I want to say this is like one of those brands sold at like Marshalls or something. Just a little green. It's cute. Just a green top, size small. Probably bring that to Play-Dohs or Style Encore. Not really interested in selling that. You guys, so far, this, even though I paid more for this box, it, but well, the Land's End was, uh, that was a nice piece, but it is embroidered. I feel like they should have put maybe a little bit better pieces in here. Like, here's that same brand. These aren't brands I really sell. This is just a little mini tropical floral dress. Great for a cruise or like a vacation. But y'all, stuff like that by this brand only retailed for like $15. So I could maybe get $15 reselling it, but not much more than that at all. Okay, this feels soft. Uh, yeah, again, Zanana Outfitters, another cheap brand. Uh, this is just a V-neck long sleeve, kind of like in a, maybe like an oatmeal color. So again, I don't know, am I going to list anything? Maybe the Land's End? I think, is that the only thing I'm going to list so far? I don't know, y'all. I may go back to the cheap ones. Okay, this is called, I've never heard of this brand, Boca. Boca Classics, Bells, Florida, um, yeah, just a, this must be men's, huh? Size, yeah. it's a, size? it's a large. It's a nice, basic, premium, basic tee. Well, it wasn't premium, because it was only $20. Well, for a basic t-shirt with nothing on it, that's... 
it, about right, I guess. Okay, uh, it does have UPF protection, UPF 30, moisture wicking, and quick dry. Let me count these items. They're supposed to be 10, and we know in the cheat boxes, I always get more than 10, and they usually throw in a free accessory. I didn't get that in this box, y'all, and I paid more. One, two, so I just counted, and I have 11 pieces. Overall, honestly, I feel like for as much money as I paid for the box, the value just wasn't there. For $35, I don't think I would get this box again. I think probably in a week or two, I am going to purchase the $15 blue box. Uh, but as far as the mixed clothing, it felt like a cheap $15 box to me. What do you guys think down below? Maybe if the land's end wasn't embroidered, that would have been a better sale. Uh, but with the embroidery, it's really going to narrow down my customer base on who can actually purchase it. You guys go click on that link in my description box. Go watch Jess's video. Tell her I sent you. If you are here from Jess's channel, hey, my name's Alicia. I am a fashion reseller. I like to buy these mystery boxes in hopes that I can flip them online. And if not, it always makes for a fun video. I would love it if you would subscribe if you like content like this. I do try to put out videos every day here on this channel. I would love to have you. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for a new one. I have a reseller secret Santa video coming up. Can you guess what YouTube reseller sent me a secret Santa box? Stay tuned to find out. I'll see y'all soon. Bye y'all.